Lovely scorching weather all week. Saturday. Now I'm in Galloway, Scotland. Look at it. Just look at it. Can't believe it. But do you know what? It don't matter. I might not be dressed for it. No. I might not be dressed for it. But in the end, it is what it is. But let me tell you, we're in Galloway, Scotland. And I thought, why not travel from South Yorkshire, come to Galloway? I knew the weather would be a bit iffy. It's apparently going to maybe slow down with the rain a bit later on. I hope. Where are we going? We are going that way. To Galloway Forest. Never been there before. Hoping the weather picks up a little bit. I was hoping to hike about 10 kilometers to Enoch, uh, Loch Enoch, um, but if it carries on raining like this, it's going to be a quagmire and it'll be very, very hard to get there. Uh, so there's a plan A, plan B. If it, if it continues like this, then we'll just find uh, uh, somewhere nice that's near the car um, so that I can have a camp next to a lock. That's the main aim. But beggars can't be choosers. But in the end, the reason why Scotland and England is so green is because it rains a lot. See it there. I'm sure all of you have heard of that statement, best well laid plans. Well, they did not come to fruition. I was hoping, as uh, I said, plan B would have been if the weather continued like this um, in Scotland to actually uh, wild camp next to a lock. Unfortunately, even though it was not great weather, um, Loch Trull was home that day to dozens upon dozens of students who brought packs upon packs of beer, camping equipment. They kept going to wherever their spots were, coming back, collecting more from the vehicles they came in, and it was very clear it wasn't going to be a quiet night. Later on, even though I tried to stay there and think, well, okay, let's just let's stay here, try and find a quieter spot. It's a big lock. Half of the lock on one side was actually closed off by the Forestry Commission because they were working there. The other half was taken up by the students. What I did find though, and that was really interesting, was that this lock, Lock Trull, over 700 years ago, was the first battle in a seven year campaign by King Robert the Bruce who eventually was able to get independence from Scotland from England. I believe that would have been from the son of Edward Longshanks. I hope my history is good enough for that. The ultimate reasons why I didn't wild camp was because I think maybe I'm a bit more sensible than the students. And that was because it ended up thunder and lightning. And I don't think having a tent next to a lock amongst loads of trees is very good when you're seeing lightning strikes on the hills opposite you and it's coming towards you. So that was the main reason why I decided not to wild camp. However, I did get a lot of good footage. Uh, I was able to get the drone up in between the showers. Um, sometimes it got soaking wet. Um, but I took that risk because I wanted something. I wanted to get some footage uh, for a journey that took me over five and a half hours to get there, six hours, uh, and then the journey back. So, this is just a lesson learned. Also, what did I forget? I forgot my bib, my waterproof bibs. So when I say I got soaking wet, I really did get soaking wet several times. Uh, also added to that, I had a fall off a rock that I thought was only about a foot deep. Uh, and I wasn't looking properly. Thankfully, without my pack being on, and I fell two meters. Um, and I got a little bit hurt from that, a um, bit winded uh, and 
with those combinations of things happening, there's a point where you have to say, something's trying to tell you this isn't a good idea. So, at least I've been to Lake Trawl, and I hope the little bit of history I'm going to give you with the flight of the drone and the other video um, uh, still makes this video interesting. So, if you continue to watch, thank you for watching.